Hello everybody once again, this is Hakuma Kazoo and welcome to the Moon Lord Ladder Series in level 60 cap. I'm still using level 50 gears, nothing has changed from my latest gears. So well, don't expect anything much from this episode, I do not know, this is a live recording and the first pop is already happening, we'll see which class we're fighting and as always, this is T4 Ladder PvP HP and the new T4 Ladder system as well where equipments come into play a lot and the first character I'll be playing against will be the mercenary class. So because of MP issues what you want to do is you want to play aggressively but you do not want to dash around and rush into the thick of things straight away. You can see this guy is playing safe. Let's get dropped to the face. He run to the correct side. Oh look at that guys. Yeah I got him. Oh, okay, he's dead. What? No. Nope. And take it away. First game seems to be pretty good, but it's a 1530 ratings, no problem. 10 games as always. My aim is to reach 1900 ratings today. And it's only 1 a.m. And it's only. What? 8 people queuing, so hopefully we can finish our 10 games ASAP. And I'm not too sure if any of these guys are high ratings. Just now when I checked, it was actually one full page, but I went to war myself because it's been a while since I played with my wound lord for PvP. And I had some fun times with some of the players that actually ping me to for a friendly match. Won most of them. Actually I won all of them, but there was one match that was pretty close and I was playing against Wanted Tsai, who was piloted by Mizu, won my first game 3-2 and then I lost my second game 3-0. So yeah, he <laughs> read my game. Within one game, we were playing 3 rounds though, so it was pretty short. But anyway, just want to talk about Moon Lord. So right now for 60 cap, what you need to watch out for, or the timings, what you want to do with the skills that you have is, if you watch my Moon Lord Gladiator basic combo video, which is my previous video, go watch it if you have not is that you have to make use of that Moonlight Splitter Paralysis effect and that is the first thing. Second thing is Half Moon Slash Timing. So for ladder especially you want to know you need to find the right timing for you to, to use your Half Moon Slash and you can connect it with like um, Great Wave, that's one and Half Moon Slash to Moonlight Splitter EX you can tumble in to get a punch as well and last but not the least I think the most fundamental thing about Moon Lords will be to get your Cyclone Slash to connect. As you saw in my previous game just now I managed to do a tracking cyclone slash, much like Mizu Egu, and catching the mercenary who actually tumbled to the left. So having a good feel and an anticipativeness for your cyclone slash will be another thing and a very fundamental thing that you need to do as a moon lord. Basically cyclone slash is your bread and butter. The aim for a moon lord will be to get your cyclone slash to land after you bait the area evasion and dodging the passive defensive skills of your opponent. So. Right now, since a long time before I actually got my pop, and yep, we'll see which is our next game. So we get our second pop of the day, and that is, I don't know what class, we'll see, and we'll find out, and we'll see how we'll deal with it. So Dante X04. Okay, it seems like it's a paladin, we can see a fail there. Okay, it's a crusader. Watch out for the shinbreaker. This guy has real effect. Seems to be playing it safe as well. Do you know I still don't know the Shinbreaker? So we're just waiting for Shinbreaker to come. It's lagging quite a bit as well. Okay, I got a paralysis effect. So at the moment I just want to He's trying to throw secret hammering, just be careful. This is the half and slash timing I'm talking about. If I lag through, if I lag through smite. So, things are not going well for me. You can see the damage of electric smite is a lot. And I got stunned by secret hammering. Let's 
arm break. He's real propped again. Another lag electric smite. I never have mana, so I'm dead. I should cancel his block. I'm trying to prevent myself from getting the ticks. He knows I'm out of mana. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. 2k HP left. Oh, I have one! LOL! <laughs> I was betting on my Moonblade Dance damage and I got it, but 1600 ratings as well, so. Well, for ladder, as I mentioned, 10 games is what I do, so I just wanna get it over and done with. And I know you guys have been asking for a Moon Lord ladder match. It seems like it's gonna be another warrior. It's our third game, is wearing the Halloween suit. And we'll see. It's gonna put up a good fight, but you can see my MP has ran out pretty fast in that second match, despite not dashing around too much. Hello. Jump dodge with our tumble. Okay, I've got my storm. Shot for crisis hulk. Still got caught. And that'll be the Moonblade Dance. Drop on the Chocolate Waffle. Twenty K. And the look at that half moon slash with great ways I'm talking about. And this guy is actually 1800 rating, so 3 out of 3 right now, 7 more games to go. So right now there's only 6 games left, so it's highly chance that we'll meet that. Is that a destroyer, right? Yeah, he used Millstrom Hound and I managed to dodge it just now, and then going back with a front shove. What to learn from that third round will be Counter Exile to Moonblade Dance. It's actually quite a very nifty skill to learn. And <clears throat> if you want to get a Moonblade Dance to land without using a Cyclone Slash, using a Counter Exile Flinch effect and then connecting with a Moonblade, Moonblade Dance is one very very good way to land a lot of your Moonblade Dance damage in fact. And you can see the Moonblade Dance at level 60, even in Calm On, the damage is pretty ridiculous. I'm actually using the 20% damage plate and I would say most PvP players will actually choose the cooldown plate but for me because I only use my Moonblade Dance when I connect it with Cyclone Slash or the Counter Exile method. I want to make sure it hits hard and it's your DPS skill for PvP. So that's why I should go for the damage plate. And for PvE, to me, the damage plate will be a better choice as well. But right now we have a Lolly. Looks like she's holding a cannon as well in our fourth game. Hello, Lolly. Lolly, 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 Polly. Da, 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 da. Oh, look, this person just drank a potion. Holy crap. And he used Night Restraint as a shooting star. This is not good. Okay, I just killed the first duck. Tricking second slash, combo baited. Okay, I baited the gravity granite. Oh my goodness, the ping pong EX. Boss. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. The hit by Splash, Ping Pong. Then got rained by the Ice Bomb Tower again. And I got silenced. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> that was a fast one. 2.2k ratings, my goodness. Okay. You know that I like revenge battles, everybody. And hopefully we meet that Shooting Star again. Yes, I get a pop. Come on, Shooting Star. Bring it. Bring it on. Come on. I mean, if I lose, you guys will just get a good laugh anyway. But you can see, okay, it's not a shooting star, it's a... It's a sorceress class, so it can be Illustrious, Lena, Smasher, or Majesty. It's Andalian X. Good luck to me. Okay, we see the first spring spark. Night Strain as well. 
Wait for the glacier wave. Oh my goodness. It's not good. It's not good. For now, give me a sec. What? Okay, I'm dead, guys. I'm sad to say. Okay, let's not give up just yet. Seems like she's out of mana. Nope. Guys, I might just be able to win this. Nope, I'm dead. <laughs> Another 2k ratings, alright? Two revenge battles to look forward to. Five more games to go. But I think it's gonna be tough. You can see that right now the Ice Shoes um, damage reduction has been rebuffed back. I think it's a ninja patch. So you can go up to 60% damage reduction. You can see that my Moonblade Dance only does 1.1k damage. Anyway, it's the destroyer with the Halloween costume, so I need to be more careful now. He knows my playstyle, and I'm still laying, I'm still using level 50 gears. So basically, if I make a mistake, I'm pretty much screwed. Let's play his tumble again. We did. It's running away. Throw the moonblade dance. Tumble baited. Cancel. Before his tumble again. Got a point. And they'll come back the buff timing. His tumble is baited. Oh shit, he didn't get hit. Oh crap. I got caught by Cyclonex. So here comes the Millstrom How. And I don't have any. No, it's a mistake by me again. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Stay calm, Kazoo. And I got killed by Mewstrom How with a nice time for my weak attack. So I'll give it to him. <sighs> so it's gonna be hard. Anyway, four more games to go. Hopefully we can meet the Lolly again. I don't wanna meet the Lustra. <laughs> What's that Selena? No, it's Breezing Swords here, so it's a Lestra. And hopefully you, hopefully you guys are enjoying this ladder series, even though I just lost 3 games in a row. But as always, if I lose, you get to learn something from my mistakes as well. And one last thing, when I saw Mizu using um, a level 60 Moonlord, something that's very important is also the use of Crescent Cleave EX. The super armor of Crescent Cleave is always there, and that's my phone, so sorry about that, as well as my Facebook message. So, Crescent Cleave Swarmer is one thing that people used in 50 cap, but right now with the extra waves that you can fire out, you can actually do the flinch. So I haven't quite shown you guys to do that just yet. So I think this is a dancer. Okay, the spirit dancer. So that's... Uh... So just let her spam her skills at far range, you know. So you're just spamming skills here. Spamming another one again. So just chill. Here comes the Stalker EX. I'm just gonna stay chill. You can see he's chasing me, but it's gone. He has the Phantom Guard now. And I'm gonna use my Counter Exile trick. Just taking a lot of damage. Lights out. And there it is with a boom blade dance combo on the spirit dancer. 2k ratings! Oh yeah! With my fists up, guys. 
Sorry about my Facebook message. I forgot to turn off my Facebook. I think I'm not turning it off now. And my phone will ring pretty much soon. So let me silence my phone as well. Okay, that's done. And yeah, that was great. I think I did great against the Spirit Dancer. Even though that was actually my one of my... I think that was my third time playing against the Spirit Dancer. But thankfully, I actually played Mizu Egu's Blade Dancer in 50 cap back in Westwood. And yeah, I was quite familiar with some of the skills that the dancer class can use and one thing about blade dancers that's very hard to do with is the square flicker which works like evasion slash and if you are even using a glad that can counter front trove if timed correctly so if you're playing as a blade dancer that's something that you need to watch out for but right now it's another warrior so plenty of warrior fights today x mighty looks like another barbarian Wait for his tumble there we go So just be careful now. How oh, did I get caught by that? I have no idea. Let's just run first. Should I use my air evasion? So I'm screwed. You can see that they're actually doing the max DPS combo right now. I was trying to save my tumble. My turn. No, no, it was too close. It was too close. Damn it. I got a Moonblade Dance combo on him. So if you actually play com on PvP and you get a Cyclone Slash Moonblade Dance combo in com on, you are basically taking away at least 60% damage. I had Provoking Slam on that guy just now with my Moonblade Dance and he wasn't dead so I was surprised and then I made a few mistakes there. But right now it's the Destroyer again. Hopefully you get to do a revenge battle. I ran pretty well just now so... I know he doesn't move so let's just cast it there this time. Okay, this is bad. Yes, you guys, revenge battle. I was thinking that he was going to go run away after I did a combo, so his tumble will be baited, so I turned around and did a great wave. Managed to read that right, thankfully. And we are last game! Even though we didn't reach our our target of 1900 ratings, we are at least at 1846. It is plus one. Yeah, we have improved and we can work on 1900 ratings next week, I guess. So I'm rotating between my Gladiator and my Moon Lord. So I think my game has hanged, as you can see, 5, 4, 3, 2, and apparently the guy actually left, so I need to restart my game to come back, be right back. So we are back after I restarted my game. So hope you guys learned something from this video so far after 9 games. You can see that I have 4 losses and 5 wins. I'm hoping to make it 6-4 instead of 5-5. Five, five. We'll see who's our last fortunate opponent today. But you can see Moonblade Dance combo with Cyclone Slash and try to do your Cyclone Slash to be tracking. Other than that, make sure you bait tumble first as far as, as much as you can with uh, and then using a Moonlight Spitter to catch your opponent. So that's what I've been trying to do today as well as the Half Moon Slash timing to Great Wave. Try to use my Flash Stunt, the right click version for some effect. But as you can see just now, I think sometime I got the flinch but I couldn't actually I think I kind of panic. Could have sidekicked the guy to give him the knockdown but I actually tried to punch him and my punch missed and then I wasted that opportunity or that timing to actually get him to the ground. So you can see that the lolly signs I don't know how to pronounce the name. 
Xinjia is still here. X Mighty is still here. Mm, can't remember the name of the Illustra. Is it? Nope. Oh, I remember it's Enderlion, Enderlion X. Anyway, the, the game has popped and it seems like it could be the academic again and the high, high chances are is that I'll lose. You saw the ping pong damage, 13,000 damage for one ping pong. No, it's not. It's another warrior and it could be a Moonlord or Gladiator by the looks of it. You can see the tip of the sword or could be the tip of an axe or a hammer. So it is a X. Wait for the tumble, it's coming. Okay, it's not coming. Nevertheless, it's still tumble. Let me get our first Saki Slash. No, this is not good. This is not good. Try to get out now. For incoming cycling slash. Remember that how charging is actually um, nerfed. Okay, got me to cycling. I mean cycling X, but no bone crash. So wait for the rolling attack first before your evasion. Okay, the bone crash was a bad idea. And I managed to get my grave kill, 10th victory, 6th fall, and it's 2k rating and another fist pump upwards guys. Once again, if you guys enjoyed this 10 games here with my Moon Lord in 1800 ratings and above, we've achieved 1877 today. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the Moon Lord comeback with Akawa Kazoo. Once again, thanks for watching, God bless, and we will see you guys next time. Goodbye and good night.